What's up guys, Rodney Fan here. It is fiberglass in day. We're gonna lay some fiberglass on the boat floor today. Uh, it's hot here in Texas uh, as usual during the summer. Um, so I'm gonna uh, get some fans going in here, um, and which is good for ventilation anyway with working with this stuff. Um, now open the garage doors and let some fresh air in. Um, I'm going to show you some of the supplies that we're going to be using today uh, for the fiberglass uh, on the floor and really for any uh, fiberglass project that you're going to be doing. These are the supplies that you're going to need. First of all, for safety first, uh, you need a good respirator. Um, this stuff uh, puts off from some pretty good fumes. Uh, you don't want to be um, breathing that stuff in, so I always recommend wearing a a respirator this stuff is sticky and messy uh, some type of protective gloves uh, to protect your hands and keep them from getting that sticky resin all over them um, you know you there's lots of different fiberglass fiberglass resins and uh, type of resins on the market uh, this is one I went with um, just just to put a coat over the floor um, it comes with the hardener uh, that you mix in um, so you need a, a good mix plastic mi mixing cup um, with you know uh, a scale on it to, to help you uh, you know how much how, know how much you're mixing uh, acetone for cleanup uh, and some type of uh, plastic container to put your acetone in uh, you'll use this to uh, clean your tools and uh, you know uh, the, the brush, the chip brushes, and, and the rollers that, that I'll show you here. Uh, these chip brushes we use to, uh, you know, uh, basically apply the, the resin down onto the, the chop mat. Uh, and then we've got a, a roller tool here that we use to roll it out to uh, try to get all the air bubbles out uh, and get it nice and flat. Um, uh, some extra rags, you know, this stuff's messy, so it's good to have some extra rags handy um, just to, you know, wipe up messes. <laughs> um, some good scissors. The scissors we use for uh, the chop, chop mat, uh, chop strand, um, you know, good sharp scissors work well uh, for cutting this stuff. Um, and that's really um, what adds the strength to um, the resin. Uh, is putting the chop strand mat in the, in there uh, and it mixes uh, with the resin and hardens and, and adds the extra strength so we're gonna get this process started you guys enjoy Hey guys, uh, just give you an update. Um, did a lot, a uh, lot of glassing today on the floor. Got about three quarters of the floor done. Uh, just got the little back section and uh, the uh, bilge area and storage area uh, to go. Uh, I did go through one full gallon of resin. Uh, that one and a half ounce chop strand uh, really soaks it up. So. Um, I did have to get another gallon um, that should get us through uh, through the rest of the project uh, so it's the next weekend um, I finished up the floor today um, turned out pretty good um, got basically three quarters of it done last weekend and uh, the last back part of the boat done today um, you know it's not perfectly smooth but you know it's it's better uh, than it was as far as 
uh, strength and being waterproof. So that's really all I care about. It's going to be covered with the carpet, um, and it's in you know much better shape than it was. So uh, I'll uh, let you have a look uh, just to see the uh, finished product. Here's the front of the boat. Um, we'll go down to the back. And I even cut back in here and re-glassed re -glassed this part. Um, you'll probably remember on this side here. Uh, is where I had some some soft spots uh, in the plywood and I had uh, rein reinforced with that penetrating epoxy and so I did a double layer of glass on this side just to help strengthen it even more so. so I plan to have a, a six gallon gas tank on both sides and then I'll probably put my batteries here right in the middle. I've got two batteries that I'm going to be putting in. Um, so that will all go back here. I think the next project is uh, basically I'm going to cover these these holes. Uh, my dad actually had some speakers in here. Um, so I'm just going to change that up a bit. And cut, basically, basically make a cover for this whole section and we'll go down. Uh, almost all the way just above the carpet uh, for both sides. And I'll cover those with vinyl and make it look you know, somewhat nice and finished. Uh, just to kind of help cover the, the gas tanks and keep those uh, you know, contained. And uh, I'm obviously going to be adding some storage. Uh, I think down this side I'm going to uh, build a storage compartment. And of course my uh, captain's chair and the console go here, uh, so I'll have some space up here in the front of the boat that I may put some storage, uh, build a storage uh, container for as well. Um, and I'm, I'm going to change it up. There were only there was only the captain's chair and then uh, this chair here and then the chair in the front. There was only three seats, so I'm adding another one. So I'm going to have. You know, a seat somewhere over here next to the to the uh, captain's chair, so we can at least have four seats in the boat. But I think uh, I think these panels uh, are the next project. Uh, I'm trying to get those cut and shaped uh, in the design uh, so that they attach, you know, to this back wall here and they hinge open out, uh, so that we can pull the fuel tanks in and out. So that's probably the next project. Until then, have a good one.